What's your name? My name is Jude Abeche. You're just going to look like this? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Where are you from? Yeah, I'm from Nigeria. How long have you been in Germany? I've been in Germany not quite long. I've yeah. been in Germany since um, August. Since August? August the 16th. Yeah. yeah. And what do you do in Germany? Okay, I'm actually studying. What are you studying? Uh, so I study neuroscience. Yeah. Uh, essentially, I study the brain. Uh, yeah. And I'm like interested in neurodegenerative diseases and mm -hmm. uh, you know the, we have a lot of mental or neurologic disorders and most of them are without cures. Yeah. Uh, so this is my interest. And, okay. Um, there are a lot of people working globally trying to find um, the cure to these problems. And okay. It's not like Africans are exempted. And yeah. I just see myself as a solution. Uh, yes. For the to, for for the future. So that's okay. I'm like. Sense, uh, interested in like studying neurological disorders, especially yeah. neurodegenerative, mm -hmm. and hopefully I stumble over a cure in the bench side and yeah. translate findings uh, mm. uh, to tangible intervention at the bedside or clinics. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Um, can you explain to the viewer how you were able to get the opportunity to come study here? Uh, I must say it, it was really difficult. Yeah, yeah it's not uh, a <laughs> walk in the park. Yeah. Uh, so I am. Um, an Erasmus Mondus Joint Masters uh, yeah. Scholarship um, awardee. Mm -hmm. So I, I applied to this program. It's called Erasmus, okay. and I got uh, selected out yeah. of like 700 applicants. So oh. um, like mm. I was selected. We are like 17. I was selected all over the world. Okay. So uh, it's like a full ride scholarship. I mean, I don't have to struggle to work. I yeah. mean, it's good to work, but yeah. I don't have to struggle because then the the cost load and the the coursework is already it's, very intense, yeah. so I, I understand why it's now like fully funded, and I don't need to struggle. You to don't work need to, to struggle to work. To work but you I, need if, to you, really if, focus if you on have like two, three hours, maybe in the weekend, yeah. it's also good to work. To work. Yeah, yeah. but I so don't if, have to. Like, if you want to, if maybe there are people watching this video that have uh, the mindset to come overseas to study, and they don't really know how to go about it, can you throw more light on? how they can apply the website they can go and you I know mean, that it's, for, yeah. it's really it it it's a thing of mind yeah. because i know there are a lot of people in africa a lot of people in nigeria people yeah. personally reach out to me yes. that um, and they want to like apply for scholarship yes. study abroad opportunities mm -hmm. it's very difficult okay. i must say but yeah. one thing is there is something, if you identify a problem, yeah. and then there is a step to solving it. If you yeah. understand that this mm -hmm. thing is very difficult. Okay. So you are already, in a way, prepared that, oh, I'm going to face it head yeah. on. So finding a scholarship is very difficult. There are a lot of websites, there are a lot of information on YouTube. What you are doing now, speaking to people, yeah. is another resource. Yeah. So for me, I went straight to the Erasmus Mondus uh, website. Uh, website. Yeah. It's, there's, it's called Erasmus Catalog. Okay. You find over 215 scholarships in different areas, engineering, agriculture, yeah. medicine, yeah. Um, public health, yeah. um, economy, social sciences, law. Linguistics, yeah, every yeah. field you can think of. I'm just using Erasmus as an as example. example yeah. There are other uh, scholarships you, you can talk about DAD. Yeah. Um, in Germany, you can talk about like the Orange Scholarship, okay. the uh, Fulbright Scholarship. This mm -hmm. you must know. So, um, to start with, you have to identify okay. what you want to study. What you want so, to study, you, yeah. there are prerequisites yeah. to like because getting into the, the scholarship. The scholarship. Yeah. So you need to identify what you want to study. study yeah. Then what are the requirements, the requirements to make yeah. you fit into that particular okay, program? Yeah. So how do you know the requirement? You have to look for the website. Yeah. So when you find the website, you look for the uh, requirement and the first contact is the program coordinator. Um, those people that are in charge of uh, the running of the program. Yeah. If you are confused about anything, you hit you just write them an email. Uh, okay, uh, if yeah. you don't know what to write to them, yeah. and this another thing I say, just go to Google. Ask yeah. Google. I want to contact a program coordinator. What do I what say? Do you say yeah? It will direct you to like maybe a YouTube link, and you yeah. watch a you YouTube watch link it. about somebody that I say, oh, you want to con contact the pro program co coordinator. What do you say to the mm. program coordinator? What yeah. are the kind of questions you should ask, you ask. on the Let's first contact? Like this, yeah. Later, yeah. Yeah. So what are the kind of questions you should ask? Yeah. And the the interesting thing is these people are really available to answer you because mm. that's why they are there, right? Yeah. And then if you if you run into problems, there's LinkedIn, which is another resource. Yeah. If you are interested in neuroscience, for example, yeah. and you check 
Titan Neuroscience Master's Program. It will show you a lot of people that are studying neuroscience in different areas, in different countries. And you could also make connection with these people. Chat them up. I'm interested in this field. I don't know what to do. So for me, I graduated from the University of Ibadan in 2017. I had my, uh, my, my bachelor's in physiology. And why I was building this interest, and you know, when you are from Africa, it's, you are kind of limited. Yeah, that's with true. resources, you with are resources, limited with yeah. the kind of things you're doing because the, the research is not really well funded. There are a lot of things, a lot of limitations that can even dampen your, your mm, zeal or motivation yeah. to pursue your, your careers. Yeah. So um, if you are in Africa, you, you are really limited, like I mentioned already, but you can still make this connection. Mm. So for me, I was limited and I had this interest. So mm. not to just stay back, uh, because there are no jobs at yeah, the time. Yeah. I, I enrolled for a master's. I was doing okay. a master's in physiology, also in the University of Ibadan. Yeah. Why I was doing that, I kept applying. Yeah. Because there's another thing, you find a requirement, you know what you want, mm -hmm. but it's not certain that one mm -hmm. shot of application you will get you it. Get it yeah. So most times you have to apply like 15, 16 times. In there's a particular year that yeah. I applied like 16, Whoa. to 16 schools, <laughs> yeah. I, I got like six interviews, mm -hmm. including the present one I'm in now. Yes. And then I was at the last phase of most of them, with listed for like two schools. Yeah. And then eventually I only got uh, Erasmus. Ooh. So you can imagine, and yeah. this was dedicated application. application yeah. So you don't apply and miss. Okay. Reach out to people, talk to people, let yeah. them advise you, what do you, what do? you need to do? And in, in fact, it's not all about having a first class. Yeah. If okay. you are from Africa, you understand what it, I didn't. Mm -hmm. I didn't make a first class for okay. my for my bachelor's program, but I was dedicated. I was really interested in this thing. Mm -hmm. Your motivation goes yeah. a long way. A long way yeah. You know, because the motivation when things don't work yeah. is the motivation that will keep you going. going. That's true. So for me, I I was really really motivated and really interested because interested in this field yeah. sometimes i feel really down studying and all that yeah, but you still have not, to keep easy, studying yeah. so when you speak to people they can oh. guide you tell you this is what you should do yeah. and i also advise some persons that if you are interested in a particular field look for someone in that field that is already succeeding in the field yeah so for me i identify some persons yeah. and i keep checking their their track record what are they doing what if they are they taking do? a particular online course and yeah. they've uploaded it i'll go and register and try to take it At so these are just minor things and then if possible you can already see their cv from yeah, their activities exactly on linkedin what they are doing what and they have done what they have done and yeah. there are a lot of our professors that are well exposed mm -hmm. you should communicate your interest with them yeah and then some persons wait until okay you are on your way to making a first class mm -hmm. but you are not doing anything so I was a leader in, in the university. I was Whoa. the secretary of my department at the yeah. point. At the point, I became the president of my faculty. Yeah. So these community activities, and I volunteer a lot. Mm, okay. There was a time I went back to my hometown. I'm from Benue State. Yeah. Uh, I went back to my hometown. My, my mom was like distributing mosquito nets. Yeah. Because when they send them from the federal government, they distribute to hard to reach areas. I yeah. joined them. Yeah. So and I added it to my CV. So this okay. is what people really like, community yeah. service and you all that. All and then stuff, as, yeah. as a core, core member in, in Nigeria then, yeah. I, I, I was working with um, a, a national enforcement, a national drug enforcement law yeah. and all that. So uh, I like participate in all the monthly campaign. Yeah. So when we go with placards, say no drugs, say no to drugs and all stuff yeah. like that. So yeah. all these things, I put it on my CV. On your CV. Okay. So the, the little the, things that you feel doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. They well, all matter. First class matters. Yeah. Good grace is matter, good, yeah. but it's not all. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, if you make good grade and you don't really volunteer, you didn't act as a leader in school, yeah. you didn't participate in organizing or hosting events and yeah. stuff like that, then yeah. your CV is basically empty. Whoa. So and now let's say you cannot do everything in the university. Yeah. So let's say you are somebody that is more into research, stay yeah. in research. Yeah. If you are more into um, like doing social activities, yeah. do them and let them be, let, you should do them dedicatedly yeah. and you should have track record, evidences of what that, you did and what the results. Done, yeah. You understand? So these are things that are very, very important and they, they, they consider it holistically towards the decision, the final decision of your, of your application. Oh, yeah. There are some persons that will be very good, they want to some PIs want, like I said, PI principal investigators or yeah. professors want to take you, yeah. but they also want to see that you have a balanced life. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. They also want to see that you have a balanced life. Oh, if I take this person, will I be happy working with this person? Yeah. Is this person the kind of person that is always moody? So you need to balance your life. Yeah. You have to Not do other just things. Not school, you have to do other exactly. things. Exactly. 
I don't like playing football. Yeah. I don't like playing football. But if I see where they play tennis, I yeah. I, I love to like try it out <laughs> to because try, I, yeah, yeah I, this is what I like. Mm -hmm. So you have to have something else that balances out. Yeah. You mention your hobbies. Yeah. You mention the people you've mentored, if if possible. Eesh, if you okay, really yeah. mentor somebody, if, mm. if your life has been an impact to someone, to someone else, else yeah. that it's or something. Yeah. So I mentioned Erasmus, I mentioned DAD, I mentioned Fulbright Scholarship, yeah. I mentioned Orange Scholarship. Yeah. There, are, there are a lot of resources out there that people could use, could use. and like, try to check them out. I mentioned contacting Hello. people. Hello, do you see what we're doing? Okay. I mentioned contacting people in the same field where you are targeting. Yeah. And another important thing is try to get a skill. Okay. Getting a skill now can be hard skill, soft skill. Yeah. Soft skill is like what is more pronounced in Africa. Yeah. Because a lot of people, because you are limited, and, oh, yeah. when I just get my computer, yeah. I'll be able to do something. Don't go looking for a way to scam people. Use your computer <laughs> to, to make something good for yourself. I said this It's what people are exposed to, <laughs> yeah. you know? <laughs> yeah, for me, I, 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 I shied away for a very long time from learning how to program. Yeah. I, I don't, I'm not very good, but when I came here, you know. Yeah, uh, the resources the, Yeah, the resources are much here, but yeah. then they are, you are forced. They say, oh, at this level, you should know this. Yeah. So now I am out of my comfort zone. I have to learn the things that I ran away from. Yeah. Okay. So if you are listening to me, please, mm. try to get a skill. Learn how to analyze data. Learn yeah. how to collect data. Learn how to enter data. Learn how to make meaning out of data. Yeah. Because in any field you are, you mm -hmm. will collect data. Yeah. People are analyzing data of videos, footprints, yeah. face movement, smiles. People analyze anything. anything. Everything around us is yeah. data. Okay. So even people are analyzing speech, wow. language. People yeah. are studying linguistics and everything. Everything is now data. Yeah. And it's no longer limited to uh, people studying mathematics and all those stuff. Because yeah. data is everywhere. everywhere. And then you have to learn how to use them how somehow. Use them, yeah. So try to get a skill. And that's one suggestion. Go and learn a programming language. Maybe. R, Python, something. Anything, anything any something. programming yeah, yeah, language, yeah. just go yeah. and learn it. Yeah. Thank you very much yeah, for the time. So I much. guess you guys watching this video, you must have learned something <laughs> from this video. And uh, it was I a coincidence. Go on and on, and <laughs> we can go on and on, I believe, with this little one we have shared. And, and maybe I should tell them about Erasmus Mondo okay. Scholarship. Okay, yeah. Erasmus Mondo Scholarship is a very is okay. a it, it's a very generous and pre prestigious scholarship. Yeah. Uh, okay. It's I say very prestigious and very generous because not every not yeah. every scholarship does what Erasmus does. Mm -hmm. um, I got the Erasmus Mondo scholarship from Nigeria, yeah. and my first year was in Netherlands. Ooh, okay. So I was here since uh, August of last year, mm -hmm. 2023, in Netherlands. Okay. Yeah. I did my first year in Netherlands, in Netherlands and yeah. then I've moved to Germany, and I would spend another year another in Germany. Year. Okay. So it's essentially it's two fully funded. Fully funded, and after my study, I get two degrees. Oh. So I get a master's from Netherlands. I get a, a master's master from, from Germany. Germany. Yeah. So two degrees, and you can decide to live in any of any the states. Nobody's saying you should go back. Yeah. I can choose to go back. I'm a free bird. I can yeah. go back and come back, come back here, yeah. provided I meet their requirement. requirement. And something else, I don't have to think about running somewhere or something. Okay. So yeah. provided you meet the requirements, the requirement. you can go to your country and come, back. come back. So and if you are in some sort of specialized program, I know there are other Erasmus models program yeah. like. Um, vaccine, precision medicine, yes. space medicine. There are quite a lot of Erasmus Mundus yeah. master's program. You could go to four countries, and if you go to four countries to study, yeah. then you get four degrees four after degrees. your studies. Yeah. And then, it's not about the number of degrees, let yeah. me, so that I explain. Yeah. By the time you move to Germany, you've made a network, a connection. Yeah, a connection with people. Friends, yeah. neighbors, mm -hmm. uh, teachers, professors, and you move to, um, let's say, Spain, yeah. you've made the same connection. Same connection yeah. So you are improving your network yeah. all around. And you too, you have to be intentional. You have to be intentional that's, that's, because you don't want to finish the program and then you don't have, you don't have that connection. Uh, that connection. Yeah. So it, this is what the program gives you. And then we have like structured internships. Mm -hmm. uh, the internship is like, okay, because right now I'm just coming back from an internship okay. uh, and I hope to do my thesis in the same lab. Yeah. So now I don't have to struggle to look for my thesis lab because I'm already doing an internship in the same, in, in lab. The same lab. So okay. And this is what the program is forcing you to do. It's part of the curriculum. You have to do an internship. So you have to struggle to look for a place. Yeah. And struggling to look for a place is already an art. You're already learning how to look for a job. <laughs> okay, that's true. That's true. 
<laughs> so after they study, you have they are already bringing you close to the likely place you would walk. Okay. So that's another thing Erasmus does, and it's a very good one. Oh, okay. So I'm even shouting out to my Erasmus Modus Masters program. I yeah. hope they see it. Yeah. The new Erasmus program, they are really doing well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You guys, you guys are doing well. So if you are from <laughs> Nigeria or anywhere in Africa, check out for this uh, scholarship. And since this is a, a testimony of someone who is enjoying the hard work he has put in the application. And it's very uh, stressful, I must say. <laughs> at least after the stress. After the you stress, got yeah, it. yeah. Now you are enjoying it. And I really thank you for the time. And please, those of you who are interested in going, getting scholarship to study abroad, I believe this video will give you more insight. And make sure you do what this guy said. It's not just by I want to get a scholarship, bro. Help me with where can I, bro? I just met someone that have explained everything in details to you. And if this is the first time you're watching my video, don't forget hit the like, hit the share, make sure you're following me on all platforms. Thank you very much, bro. What's your name? Ehije. Ehije. Yeah.